What's going on, y'all? Rob Anderson, Clean Power Wash, Salisbury, Maryland. Um, we're going to talk about doing volume. $10,000 a week plus. Um, last week was the first week of the year that we've hit that. Um, we crushed it again this week. We finished at just over $13,000. Um, and probably in the next week or two, we'll have a $15,000 week. Um, big thing that means we need more people because uh, we can certainly scale and have more capacity with the amount of estimates and everything that we're doing. Um, but understand when you start to get to that point, when you start doing $10,000, which is absolutely doable, uh, even with, with a single truck, 10 grand a week is very doable. One, you obviously have to have your pricing right. Um, but realize, what does that enable you to do? You know, when you start doing 10 grand or more and you're staying on top of your invoices and, and getting paid right away, one, you've got a, a lot of people that are using you. Make sure you're getting those reviews. That's going to then self-feed itself. So you're going to get more reviews, more referrals from those people. If you're putting out a lawn sign at every house, you know, let's just say... 500 bucks a job you know that's 20 houses so you got 20 lawn signs up I just passed one for house wash 199 oh well uh, I'm in a spot that quite frankly that sign's gonna probably be there for two or three months but that is what it is anyways with with that kind of volume though the nice thing is that then that enables you to be able to make bigger investments into your business Obviously, you want to make sure that you're setting aside some of that money. Um, as we're coming out of winter, we're going to start pulling 1500 bucks a week out towards paying down our line of credit. Um, I like to pay down more than that, but if we do 1500 bucks a week, just for the first three or four weeks, that makes a huge dent in what we've got there. And then that allows us also, you can even do it too, where you start pulling two grand a week out. You know, you should have between probably about $5,000 in profit on 10,000, if not more. Um, especially if you're getting bigger tickets at, per house. You know, the more time that you're spending at each house making more money, you know, if you're averaging on those jobs, let's say instead of being $500 jobs, we're doing $10,000 jobs. We've got a lot more efficiency in those $1,000 jobs, a lot more profit margin in them than in the bunch of small jobs with drive time around everywhere and whatnot. Uh, so anyways, pull that money out, get that money set aside, whether you're, you've are you got debt and you're paying that off or if you've got, um, you know, you wanna buy a new truck, you wanna put another rig out there, you want to upgrade your equipment. Um, that puts you in a better spot to go ahead and start pulling some of that money from it. Don't all of a sudden look at it and say, you know, yay, I get to, I'm going to pay myself three grand and I'm going to go buy, you know, I don't know what you're going to buy for three grand, but spending it on yourself. Early on season, we'll give you a little bit of breathing room to finally start getting money coming in. Um, but it's also nice with where we are that I can predictably say every week from now until at least late July, uh, if not most of August, we'll do at least 10 grand a week. So when you look at that over the, the time frame, you can then see, okay, well, if I know that I'm gonna, you know, over the next 10 weeks, do $100,000 of work. Sorry, my other phone mount just fell. Sweet. Um, that gives you that peace of mind knowing that, yeah, I can go ahead and buy that other skid for ten, fifteen thousand dollars or whatever they cost to then be able to put that other truck out there so that you can then increase that. You know that you're going to have the revenue to support some necessary expenses and things that will go ahead and help you speed up uh, your process for making more money. We went ahead and bought, um, we upgraded the booster pump to one horse. Um, I'll be doing a video next week once we get that thing set up, just showing the three-quarter versus the one horse, um, showing the five versus seven gallons a minute. We're looking forward to having that that increase in performance. Um, I 
I just wanted, since we needed to replace the five, uh, to go ahead and see what we can do with a bigger pump. So, um, hey guys, if you're not, you know, doing 10 grand a week or you're doing 20 or you're doing five grand, hey, work towards that. You know, first I think everybody starts off with that initial goal of 100 bucks a day. If I can just make 100 bucks a day, that's more than you're making at prior, your regular job. Then it's if I can make a thousand bucks a week. You know, that hundred bucks a day is like working six, seven days. You're trying to hustle. Then you want to make a thousand dollars a week. Then you start, goal is to do a thousand bucks a day. And then that really quickly changes all your financial situation in your business. Um, so. Hope that helps, guys. Um, looking forward to some upcoming events. I know Eric and Lisa have their pressure washing. Uh, our power wash store uh, convention on March 31st is the pre-event social. Uh, April 1st and 2nd will be the event. I'm speaking on day two. I uh, got some awesome teachers that'll be up there. Looking forward to seeing all my spray wash buddies. Um, and yeah, see ya.